wait till we get to the good part. Sounds like a pyramid scheme. But is it? <laughs> Guys, I'm Chelsea. Oh, sorry, I've done this a million times. Welcome back to my channel. I am a hairstylist in Southern California. Here on this channel, we do anti-MLM commentary with a little bit of hair education sprinkled in, especially when we talk about the Monet girls. Today, we are here to talk about a different kind of MLM that I feel like does not get a lot of attention, and that MLM is One Hope Wine. And the reason I really wanted to talk about this one today is because your girl almost joined. Before or as I was getting ready to leave Mon 8, when I kind of like saw what, what the hell was going on, I was like, well, there's not a lot of bad things about this MLM, so maybe I'll just do this one and it'll be like a good one. And uh, <laughs> thank the Lord or whatever is out there, the universe, whatever y'all believe in, um, thank him that I started, or her, that I started going down the rabbit hole of CC Suarez videos and decided that and not decided, but I realized that all MLMs truly are the same, especially when it comes to the business structure, even if there aren't as many reps out there, you know, showing their rear ends to the world to see. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, before I go any further, I do want to highlight again that this is all my opinion. And then I also, I, I'm reading things right off of their website. And then I am stating my opinions on how that sounds to me. So this is not an attack at the company. Well, maybe because I don't like MLMs, but I don't mean it to be that way. All right, y'all. So One Hope Wine. So there are there was a previous wine MLM that actually was just buying like grapes or juice. And I think it was direct sellers. And I do think there is another wine MLM out there. I just like can't think of the name of it right now. But I specifically wanted to talk about One Hope Wine because it actually does have a winery in Napa. And I thought that was kind of crazy. So it definitely, so I'm sure the quality of wine might be a little bit better than some of the others. I've never personally tried it, so I can't express my opinion on how the One Hope Wine tastes. If y'all have tried One Hope Wine and you liked it or didn't like it, leave it in the comments and let me know. You might not have known it was an MLM and now you do. Or maybe you did know it was an MLM and didn't care. And that's fine too. Maybe it's good wine. But, so, like I said, unlike any other... I got my notes down here in case y'all are wondering why I keep looking down. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So I pulled all of their stuff on their website and put it into one little thing for me to read to you guys. Anyways, so unlike most MLMs, like I said, they do have their own actual winery, which, like, has me just wondering why do they decide to make... to, to become an MLM. So the winery is in Napa... And I just feel like they could really just like sell to consumers, like whether it's online or just people that go. But so why I wanted to bring this up is I wanted to see if they had just like regular tastings like any other winery does. And for a 90 minute wine invite. So I don't know what that includes. I have no idea. Maybe like a cheese and wine board with like a few tastings of wine. It doesn't say, excuse me, it doesn't say on the website what the wine invites consists of, but it's a 90 minute session and it costs $150 per person. So <laughs> that seems kind of steep. And I say that because I've gone to like Temecula, California before. So it's um, north of San Diego and it has like a lot of different wineries. So it's like, it's like the Napa of like Southern California, I guess. I don't even, honestly, I don't even know where Napa is. I'm not even gonna get into that. I'm not a geography major. That's all beside the point. So I went to Temecula a few times and a lot of the times, even like in wineries down here in San Diego or wine tasting spaces, you can do a wine tasting and you get like either five or six like tastings and it's like 30 bucks. So like, I feel like 150 is very steep unless you're getting like a few glasses, but usually like a tasting with five or six glasses is the equivalent of like two glasses, I would say. Just, you just get to taste a different, a few different wines. So yeah, unless you're getting like a full on freaking lunch and like two glasses or like a bottle or something, but it's per person. Anyways, that seems expensive because you know they're not letting you drink like freaking five glasses. They're not letting you get hammered off a of wine and feeding you like a prime rib steak. That's just not what's happening when you go there. There's, if I'm wrong, let me know. If you've been there, let me know. Put it in the comments. I also wanted to highlight that they do have a wine club, but that's essentially how you would become like a customer. 
So if like you were like a VIP customer for Monet or if you were like a customer for like a preferred customer for It Works or whatever they call you where you're just buying the products, that's what this would be for the wine club. So you get 5 to 20% off when you join the wine club depending on which membership you want. And for four bottles per person, it's roughly $100 and you pay it every three months, which is pretty standard. I am actually a member of a local wine club and it costs me around anywhere between like 80 and $100 for three bottles quarterly and they either get sent to me or I go up there and pick them up. But in addition to that, which you don't have it with this, with One Hope Wine doesn't offer this, that when I go to that winery that I'm a club member in, I get like 10 free tastings or 10 free glasses, not just for myself. So me and my boyfriend can go up there and we can each get a free glass of wine when I go to pick up my stuff. And that happens monthly. So I can use 10 a month. I can take my whole family. I'll get a free glass of wine, hang out for a bit. And that's all included in my wine membership. And all I had to do was basically buy a bottle of wine a month is how it kind of like pans out. So I thought that was pretty cool. I, I guess this kind of begs the question of like, why does there have to be like a middle person? Like, why do I have to go to a distributor in order to join this wine club? I can't just go to the winery and become a member and be like, hey, mail this stuff to me or I'll come pick it up, you know, every quarter. Like I do for, like I do for the winery that I'm, that I'm currently a member of. So they decided to make it an MLM for whatever. So when you are a distributor for One Hope Wine, you are called a cause entrepreneur because I guess their whole thing is that you can pick one cause to donate to if you have like a tasting party and then 20% of whatever sales that you sell or 10% or something, a percentage of whatever sales happen. So when people order wine or become wine club members, a percentage goes to whatever like cause you want to donate to. Okay, cool. You know, that's really nice. You want to donate to people. My issue with it is so One Hope Wine gets to donate all that money and they get the tax write-off. And again, if you'll hear it there with tax write-offs, every time I donate, I don't even know that I've ever bothered to write it off on my taxes because I think you should just be a good person, not be a good person to get extra money back at the end of the year. But when... Basically, I feel like you could have like a fundraising event where everybody brings their own bottle of wine and y'all can have a tasting party with your girls... And be like, hey, everybody bring some money to donate. We'll send it this, whatever. I feel like you shouldn't have to be a cause entrepreneur, a distributor for One Hope Wine in order to do this. I feel like I'm getting lost and confused in my words. Sorry, I tried to script this out so I didn't get messy, but my bad. So when you are a cause entrepreneur, you've made a decision to join our community and begin sharing wine to earn income and raise money for causes that you're passionate about. That is what the description on the website says. And what do they do? So it says they're proud members of a movement that make the world a better place. So spreading the one hope message through in-home wine tastings and local events to income to impact while making an income. In order to become a cause entrepreneur, the intro kit, the cheapest one is $39 plus $10 shipping. And that just gives you like your back office and probably a few workbooks. I, or you can choose like a $99 kit or a $199 kit. And that actually gives you wine to taste, which that's like the same case with a lot of these. You, they have their lowest option where you just get like marketing things, but then you obviously want to get the products that you're selling. So you'd want to get some wine so that way you could taste it and tell people, Hey, this tastes good. Uh, you should buy it. So you you honestly, <laughs> you, don't tell me you're dumb enough to start your own business and not try the product before you start selling it. So everybody's at least buying that $99 kit. You'd be crazy if you weren't or you're buying the $199 kit and you're getting like six bottles of wine or something. So the $39 um, and includes brochures, catalogs, order forms, interactive, started planner, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so all that stuff. And then the $99 kit has a few wines and it has six wines in a tote bag and then the one the two hundred dollar kit has um wine kit add-on it's an additional oh it's six more bottles so you get 12 bottles <laughs> i don't know 12 bottles of wine for two hundred dollars let's do the math <laughs> maybe just joining is not crazy bad 199 divided by six is 33 dollars a bottle I guess good wines are anywhere between 20 and 30 dollars maybe that's not insane if the wine is actually good 
So this does say you will receive, there are a number of benefits to joining. You can take, um, so from day one, you'll receive all the tools of education to start your business with confidence. So this is when they're claiming that you will get training and support and that you have stuff in the back, the back office. You'll have access to world-class wine education and content unlike any other, allowing you to make your tastings as simple or as complex as you see fit. Cause entrepreneurs enjoy exclusive discounts and they earn up to 25% commission on customer orders. So you get up to 20. So again, it's just like any other MLM. So the benefits of becoming a cause entrepreneur for One Hope is that you can make up to 25% commission and you'll get discounts. It doesn't say what the discounts are. So I don't know that information. I guess I wouldn't know unless I signed up, which I'm not going to do. Um, yeah. <laughs> so... I don't know, y'all. I drink Trader Joe's wine for $2 a bottle. So while I am a member of a wine, of a local winery that I really enjoy, your girl has no shame drinking two buck chuck from Trader Joe's. So you can earn from 20 to 25% commission on all personal sales from tasting events and bulk orders, fundraisers, and everything in a given calendar month. And you earn bonuses when you coach, mentor, and develop others through team building. So when it says coach, mentor, and develop, so, <laughs> y'all wait till we get to the good part. It gets juicy when we get to the comp plan. And that's when you're going to realize that it's just like any other MLM. The two ways to make money is that you make your commissions from your sales, basically, from whatever events you do or online orders, you know, again, just like any other MLM. Or you earn bonuses when you coach, um, mentor, and develop others through team building. So, team building. And that was when I really wanted to, like, get into this. So, I... As I said, I almost joined this one and I had a very lovely woman. Like she, she's literally, she's so kind hearted. I absolutely loved her. And I met her through a mutual friend of mine. A mutual friend of mine is actually very anti MLM, but she felt the same way that I was kind of thinking like one hope wine is not as bad as the other MLMs, right? So upon further investigation and talking to her on the phone, she did a little presentation for me and did there's, they have like this whole like training thing and it's a comp plan training. So you can explain it to your new recruits, how the comp plan actually works. And we do have access to that. She made it seem like I couldn't get access to it unless like she made it seem like she was breaking the rules by giving me this information. But since I haven't talked to her in, I don't know, it was like the beginning of last year when I was considering doing this. So it was almost a year ago, but she made it seem like it was going to be hard for us to get this information. But turns out it's not. You can find it right on their website. So, which is great, right? Because I, that's a nice transparency for the company that not only do they show you the comp plan, they actually break it down for you. This is like a really big training thing. So it's going to be long. Hopefully I don't have to split this video up into two parts. I shouldn't. I really just want to get into the comp plan. So we will real soon. So more on the website, it says, how much can I expect to earn? Earnings vary from... In individual to individual, please reference our comp plan overview for more information on the income opportunities. So that's good. I say it varies. That's good. Do I have to purchase or keep inventory product? Wine will always ship directly from our warehouses to the customers and hosts and you're not required to purchase or keep inventory as product. We'll talk more about that in the comp plan. Um, basically, it, it again, it's going to be just like MLM, any other company where you either have to buy a certain amount or sell a certain amount in order to keep active and actually get your commission. So that's how that works. So do I have to purchase or keep inventory? And they say no, because it's shipped directly from their website, which, you know, like any other MLM would do. And so you don't have to keep inventory in your house. It says, do I have to sell a certain amount each month? Please note that in order to be paid, you must have an active membership and account and membership, fee membership fees can be paid monthly or annually. So we'll get more into that. Once we talk about the comp plan, actually, I think I might have been able to mention that earlier that when you join, so it's like when you buy your kit, I guess I, I'll just add this right now too. So when you buy your kit, I forgot to mention this when we talked about how much it costs to join. So along with that $39, you have the option to pay like $8.99 a month or something like that, or I don't know, $6.99, something like less than $10 a month, or you can pay like $100 for the whole year. And that gives you your back office and website stuff. So if you decide that it's not right for you and you did pay the year membership, 
you it says that they will give you your refund now again i've never like if you pay the year up and then you wanted to be done with it like six months in or whatever you realize right away shit this is a scam um it says that it'll be like um prorated and then you'll get some of it back so hopefully that's right and that's not a pain in the butt to do and then it says you can return any unopened and unused kits from the joint kit and we will refund you the return amount i'm guessing you would have to pay for shipping and if you're shipping bottles of wine and it's going by weight, that's going to be not enough. Like, it's going to be too much money, a waste of money to ship back just to get probably the same amount or less money back. You may as well just drink the wine or give it to a friend for freaking, for some, I don't know, for a housewarming party, whatever. Can I host my own tasting events? They said, yeah, you're welcome to. And can I sell online? And yes, you can sell online. Now, keep this in mind. Just I just happen to know this. Um, that There are certain states that you actually can't. Um, send wine to but most states I think you can I, I like Utah I don't think you can order wine like online and have it delivered to your house but in California you can that's the overview of like what it's like what they say it's like to be a cause entrepreneur pretty basic stuff whether anybody cares about that part sorry it was a little boring but I wanted to do a little bit of a backstory or like a little bit of like this is what they say it is this is what it sounds like and it sounds pretty cool. Host wine tasting, sell some wine, make 20 to 25% on commissions and people buy wine. Yeah, I could do this as a side hustle. Like maybe it'd be worth it to actually just do sales. But let's get into the girl that I talked to on the phone when I was considering joining this had emphasized to me that you really don't make a lot of money just selling wine. You can't make a sustainable income off of that. It's not worth it. So the fact that that was emphasized to me, because if I wanted to make $100 a month and somebody, I'd have to find like five people to buy $100 worth of wine in order for me to make like 20% of it. And honestly, I, <laughs> I know girls that drink a lot of wine, but I don't, we like going to the actual winery, okay? I don't know a lot of people that would really do... Because like, there's wine library. There's a bunch of other, like, things that you can order wine online from that I feel like are cheaper. Anyways, let's go... <laughs> let's go to the comp plan. Let's get to the good part already. Thank you if you've made it this far. You've made it to the good part. All right. Should I get close to the microphone? Maybe. I don't know. Show off my double chin. Okay. One Hope Wine Compensation Plan Training. Let's get to it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can read it here. So, earning with One Hope Wine, the majority of people that join our company are looking for a part-time business opportunity. They are interested in wine, giving back, and being a part of the community and having fun. So, yeah, that does sound pretty cool, right? They have the opportunity to earn anywhere from hundreds of dollars per month to a few hundred dollars per week by conducting private wine tasting events. Hmm, this to me... <laughs> Sounds like a lot of freaking work. They have the opportunity to earn anywhere from a couple hundred dollars a month to a couple hundred a week. And by conducting private wine tasting events, selling direct to their customers, and providing corporate gifting services, whatever that means. The retailing income combined with recognition association of people with similar interests and uplifting feeling will make a difference in all most people seek from part-time career with One Hope. So, according to their website, it is meant to be a part-time thing, which is refreshing because <laughs> I feel like a lot of other MLMs I got no this is the website so this isn't somebody like saying on the internet like on their Instagram page like yo make a full-time income with part-time hours type of thing so that's good you uh we have put together a powerful and effective compensation plan so there are just going to skip this whole thing. And so there are four core competencies that you need to understand to embrace in order to succeed with our comp plan and it's personal selling, personal sponsoring, team building, and leadership. Notice how only one of those involves you not recruiting somebody. The other three involve you recruiting and building a team. And you're just recruiting those people to recruit and build a team. So, sounds like a pyramid scheme. But is it? Understanding these competencies is important as they will show up in your everyday practice uh, with, when you practice our simple duplication system. <laughs> it sounds more and more like a pyramid scheme every time we read something, in my opinion. So, let's keep going here. 
Earning with One Hope. One Hope provides an outstanding merit-based marketing business that's flexible, profitable, and works. When you are a cause entrepreneur with One Hope, you are part of a community of like-minded individuals. So now they are trying to get you to be a part of a community, which is, I mean, good. You want to be a part of like a community like for work, right? Totally. And you can, so booking events and host coaching. So the first key of success includes booking events in preferred settings, such as an in-home, an office, or with a community. Host coaching events to create relationships and ensure the success of your events. So make 10% impact locally. Host receive preferred, hosts receive preferred pricing to their event. Hosts receive great benefits and everyone has fun. So there, so I guess if you host an event, you get special discounts. It's just like any other like at home party where you get the discounts and or free stuff or whatever. You make a certain amount of sales, whatever. So four keys to success. So marketing your business and selling to family, friends, customers is fundamental to your success. So this talks about where you would go to sell and sponsoring is number three. So impact fund income recognition flexibility. I don't understand what any of that has to do with sponsoring, but whatever. And developing. So now you have to develop the people that you're sponsored. So now you have to convince everybody underneath you to become leaders and want to sponsor more people underneath them because that's how you move up in the ranks. We're going to scroll down a little bit here and we're going to talk about earnings and commissions. So personal sales volume. You can earn up to 25% on all personal sales from tasting events, bulk orders, Corporate gifting, earn up to 25% all in personal sales from tasting events, bulk orders, corporate gifting, fundraisers, and online purchases within any given calendar month. And, oh, look at this. Okay, so this is one it explains to you. So between $1 and $1,500, $14.99 in CV, that's how you get 20%. And if you do $1,500 or more in CV, so that's like the group volume or whatever, I'm assuming you're, I don't know what CV stands for. You get that additional twenty, that additional five percent. This is additional five percent override commissions are paid at the end of the month. I don't know what that means. Okay, so personal sponsoring, you get a fifty dollar bonus each time you sponsor a new cause entrepreneur who becomes first time qualified. So first time qualified means three hundred PCV. So now I don't know if like the two hundred dollar kit is worth three hundred PCV if that automatically makes you like active, but like your people underneath you have to sell things in order for them to be active and for that to be like considered a sponsor. So if you sponsored somebody with that $39 kit, because it doesn't come with any wine, I would imagine that that person would not be considered a qualified leg. So they wouldn't be considered active underneath you. And this is who becomes first time qualified. So I don't know if that means like you only get the bonus the well yeah that is what that means you only get the bonus the first when they become first time qualified so the next month when they reach that bonus again you don't get another you don't get another $50 bonus and then so team building and leading you enjoy bonuses when you coach and mentor others so when so when the people underneath you rank up you get a bonus that's literally how Mon 8 works. That's, I, I know that because I was in Mon 8 and that's why I keep saying, I, I'm so annoying when I compare it to Mon 8, but that's the only like reference to. But I think it's the same thing with Beachbody too. Like you make a bonus when they rank up. So you obviously want to encourage your downline to rank up because not only do they get a bonus, but you do too. And you get a rank up bonus. So they do like personal matching bonuses when your downline, when certain people in your downline rank up within a certain amount of time of being sponsored. So you get a matching bonus. And then if that causes you to rank up, then you get an additional rank up bonus. So, oh no, I got lost. Whoops, where'd it go? Sorry guys. Okay, so that's earnings and commissions. I'm gonna skip down here to titles and advancements. So qualified legs, when you personally sponsor a CE, you create a downline leg. A qualified leg is when at least one cause entrepreneur within the leg has generated at least 300 in PCV. So mentors are encouraged to work with everyone within their personal group. As you progress through the ranks, you will be paid bonus commissions of 3 to 5% on your level 1 to 4 team. As your downline sells more, you'll make between 3 and 5% on your like 1 and then 4 levels down, is how I understand that. 
And then group bonuses, when you reach the rank of director, you will earn an additional 2% group bonus with your entire group bonus volume. So yeah, obviously you would want, you get bigger bonuses as you rank up. So not from, <laughs> not from just selling a certain amount of wine, but when your group sells a certain amount of wine and then you have to also have a certain rank to do it. And in order to get to a certain rank, it's... It's, it's, if it sounds like a duck. So um, then they also have the director generations. As you progress rank, you'll earn through three generations. And then generational bonuses. It's just, I, honestly, I still don't understand generational bonuses. I know it's a thing in MLMs. And I just, I, I still can't grasp the concept of that. Because I've already, like lost myself. I don't know if I've lost you guys. I If I have, you're not here anymore. Um, if you are, cool. Thanks for watching still. But I, I'm already lost at the generational bonuses because I'm like, yo, it's like a pyramid scheme. Like now I recognize it. In my opinion, that's what it is. But now I recognize like the familiarity of that part of the pay structure where it literally leaves you screwed. You barely make any money on sales. So it's not about the product. It's about recruiting and building a team. And getting them to do all the work <laughs> and recruit and build a team. <laughs> so, all right. So here's where you can see where you get your bonuses. So when you make it to director, you get a $250 bonus. When you make it to lead director, you get a 500. So obviously you want to hit these ranks because you make the national executive director, you make a $10,000 bonus. Now, what I find interesting about this is so the, um, the woman that I was trying to that I was considering joining under before everything. She said that she was a director. And when I, I thought that this would have been a big deal until she got this far into the comp plan, because with previous, um, with Monate, when you're a director, that's a really high rank. And so for this one, director is only like five ranks up. So I guess it's like the idea of being like at the Cadillac rank, but you actually, I feel like you have to do a lot of work to become a director and then you still only make a $250 bonus. I just feel like that's not a whole lot. So it's like not worth all the work you have to do to do this. I get, keep getting lost on here. Sorry. So titles and advancements. Um, whoops. Gosh, this is such a pain in the butt. In order to be a director, you have to have four qualified legs. So you have to have three people that have the 300... Um, 300 CV underneath you. And then all together, you guys have to have a 3,500 GV and 5,000 OV. Honestly, I think OV is probably overall volume. I don't understand the difference between GV and OV. So that's super confusing. Does it say somewhere? Does it say on here? It doesn't even, doesn't even explain that on here. How would I know? Oh, and two of them have to be SCEs. So what's an SCE again? So two of them have to be a senior cause entrepreneur in order for you to become a director. Oh, God. And to be a senior SCE, you have to have 1,200 GB and two people underneath you that are qualified. I'm just like looking at these numbers and like my mind is blown. So I don't know how, I don't know how long I can handle breaking this down for you guys. I am going to put the link to it in case anybody else wants to go over it for shits and gigs. But, um, cause it is kind of nice that it breaks it down this much, but I still feel like it doesn't break it down enough because I'm still very confused. So this one explains that when you're a director, you make the 250 and all that and you make, your uni level bonus, so your level one, level two, three, four, you're making 5%, 5%, 5%, 3%. I don't, so I'm guessing that's like when you're in the pyramid, right? And then, so this is your level one, and then underneath them is your level two, and then underneath them is your level three. Or are you level one? And then you're, I don't know. I think that's what it means, though. I just don't know if you're level one or if the people underneath you are level one. So that explains all of that, and... Then it just explains it in a different way. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like it just shows like three of the same chart. I don't understand. Um, 
because it, it talks about the generational bonuses again, which I don't, I don't understand what a generational bonus is. I don't understand the difference between a generational bonus and a level one bonus. So while this breaks the comp plan down more, it doesn't put like key terms of what the heck that means. Um, or am I just like an idiot? Maybe that's possible. Maybe I just don't understand. The girl, the girl that tried recruiting me was explaining all this to me, and I think I acted like I knew what the heck it meant. <laughs> but in all honesty, I still don't understand the cop plan for money. All I know is that I had to have a certain amount of volume to be considered active and to get a commission, and that if I wanted to make more money, I had to recruit people. If I wanted to make like enough money to sustain the business. And I know that I made it to the third rank, and I lost money still. So that's all I know. And that's what I feel like would have happened here where, because <laughs> my ass would have bought so much wine. Maybe this one would be more worth it for me realistically, because like, at least I'm getting wine out of the deal. Oh God. And it breaks it down even more. So this just breaks it down of how you become the rank. So in order to be like a lead CE, you have to have 300 in personal volume, one qualified leg, 600 organizational volume. Now it explains what OOB means. So I was right, like your overall organizational volume. And then you would get 20 to 25% personal commissions, a $50 fast start rank promotion bonus. You unlock CE wine seller, whatever the heck that means. You get 5% additional when you sell 1500 or more. So that's what happens when you do that. So now the next rank, if you promote two people, the list goes on and on. So it explains like you get a higher level one bonus and you do a level two bonus. And then you get a hundred dollar fast start rank bonus. So you can get, um, so if you rank up early enough, you can get some bonuses, but if you don't rank up early enough, you never see those bonuses until you get to the higher rank. So that's incentive to, for you to get as many people involved as you can at the very beginning. Not only will that get you excited and then it'll make help you make money faster. It makes you stay in longer because now in your head, you're like, oh, this totally works because you, you have that like that excitement at the very beginning. So it kind of like lights a fire under your butt to scam more people into your business. So this whole thing just breaks it down more. It draws pictures for you. Oh, you guys, <laughs> you guys look at this. So this explains everything to you, too. And ex Okay, so this is how it's explaining, like, the generations. Oh, it does it in pictures. So all that stuff I was questioning before, this breaks it down for you. So it talks about your personal group, your, gener your Gen 1 director, and your Gen 2 director. And honestly, when they drew it out, it almost makes it more confusing. If anybody wants to see this to help anybody else understand, like the breakdown of any comp plan for an MLM, th this is the one that'll do it for you. Like all, all this <laughs> is complicated and they put it in a little chart for you to still get confused by. So it goes on and on and on, but uh, the basis here and what I really wanted to talk about, oh look, they even give you freaking key terms. How fancy. This is a really great comp plan if you just want to understand any comp plan for, for network marketing. So at least there's that information. I think that's great. Now that we've broke down the comp plan and we've talked about this, I guess in conclusion, I do feel like I'm really glad that I'd realized this before and I decided to not join this company because I would have had, I would have lost money the same way I did with Mon8. I would have had the same thing and I would have tried to do it the same way Mon8 people were doing it, the same way I was doing it when I was in Mon8. I would have been <laughs> posting scammy internet posts and saying this is about my business and I have found a few like cause entrepreneurs that are doing it that way on social media. And while the, while some of them are not annoying about it, there are some others that are. And I'm not going to like post them and just be like, I searched for these people and just so I could talk crap on the internet because that's not why I did it. I was really genuinely curious because the girl that introduced me to this was not somebody that did it through the internet. She was a face-to-face -face, old school MLM type of person. And this, and in this industry, there's not industry. Well, yeah, in, in the industry and this like, these times, I think if you're going to be in an MLM, I think it is definitely easier to promote it on, 
on social media, but that's also, it's a very slippery slope where you are posting those scammy things and <sighs> y'all, they're all pyramid schemes in my opinion. Like I know this one is definitely the same. It seems different because people aren't talking about it more. But when you break down the comp plan, which is my whole purpose of doing this video, it's clearly the same. So when you are choosing to be a customer, it's probably a slippery slope and you probably will decide that like, oh, well, see, the thing is too, if you made it this far, cool, then you can kind of, I don't know, thank you for watching this far because I, I feel like it's, there's a lot of redundancy when we talk about anti-MLM content. So and we break down comp plans because they are all the same and that's the point of this. But I feel like when you're when you're looking at this and you're like, oh, I'd become a member of the wine club because it's $200 or whatever or $100 for three bottles. And But if I became a distributor and did the $99 kit, I get six bottles. So what I really wanted to point out, sorry, my camera cut me off, but what I wanted to point out is that to become a member of the wine club... Uh, for One Hope, which is how you be a customer for a One Hope representative. So it's about $100 for four bottles of wine. But to be a distributor, it's that $99 starter kit, you get six bottles of wine. So you get two extra bottles. If you spend $200, you get 12 bottles. So it's like, and, and then like a tote or whatever. Like, who, I mean, who cares about the extra stuff? But it's definitely, I think, easier to convince somebody just like any other, to be a discount distributor. And then, you know, you throw, suddenly you're throwing a tasting party for all your girlfriends. And suddenly you're in an MLM and you're doing this, like, scammy practice trying to get now, you're trying to get all your girlfriends to sell it with you, which is stupid because why would you want your closest friends to be your competition if it's all just about selling the wine? If it is just about selling wine and getting customers and, and having a good time and wine tasting with your friends... You wouldn't want all your friends to basically like screw up your customers. You would, why would you recruit them to do the same thing that you're doing? It just makes it more difficult to sell. Now suddenly you, <sighs> y'all, it's all about recruiting. Just admit it. It's all about recruiting. And even the girl that was recruiting me told me the big money comes in when you recruit and when you build a team. That's how you make money. So she even admitted that you make more money by recruiting people than you do by selling. And that is the definition of a pyramid scheme on the FDC's website. So in my opinion, that's what sounds like is happening here. And that, and while it might not be as annoying and as frustrating as some of the other people out there selling the selling Beachbody, it works, money, whatever, it's the same thing. So... Thanks for watching. I know this was like a really long video, uh, longer than probably some of my others. So y'all are awesome. Like and subscribe for more content. I don't know if I'll be doing another like deep dive like this. I do want to talk about a someone who trains network marketers that I was a part of. <laughs> I was a part of this company for like <laughs> too long. I wasted so much money. <laughs> I can't wait to tell y'all about that. So that's my next video coming up. I will be filming that today as well. So I'll probably look the same. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my sweatshirt so that way I look different. But thanks for watching. Again, don't go out there and get scammed. Pay attention. Read the fine print, please. And if you want to join One Club, go support your local winery. Uh, don't support your best friend. Not your best friend. Don't support some random lady on the internet. Oh, selling you wine under the guise of 10% of it goes to a good cause. You can just donate to that good cause yourself instead of giving this big corporate company of One Hope all that money to donate so that way they have a tax write-off. That's another whole issue. But anyways, thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.